All right, fellas, we are back. And as you can see, the truck is still looking the same. Well, maybe not. As you can see, whoo we check out this gym, guys. This thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the way it turned out. I definitely love the way this vehicle turned out. All right, fellas, coming back at you with another one. As you can see, we picked up this Endura IR60 body, guys. And I decided, guess what, guys? We're gonna put this body on the All-Star AX8560, guys. We're gonna convert this little crawler into the Endura IR60. So stay tuned. We're gonna get this thing out of the box. Let's get it. All right, I got it out of the box. I did go with the black. I did go with the black. Of course, you know I like the black because I got the black tarantula as well. But yeah, I went with the black. And we're going to see how this thing will work out, guys. I think I'm going to love the way this thing looks. So let's go ahead, get the, uh, what we call instructions out. Let's get the instructions out. All right, let's check the instructions. Look over them really quick. Boom, we got the instructions. Now, let's go ahead and start this build. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I got this thing together. As you can see, it looks very slick, guys. Very nice looking build, very nice looking build. So now, we have to move all these screws to the side. It did come with an extra grill, as you can see. Comes with an extra grill, as well as the headlights to go in the grill. So, you can get a different look from the front of this thing. I went with the more angry looking look over the normal Toyota style. And the angry look has the larger bulbs in it like the uh, IR40 does. So yeah, this is where we at. So now what we have to do, we have to pull the All-Star down and go ahead and start breaking this thing down. I forgot it does have front and rear. All right, so we're going to remove the front and the rear bumper, and we're gonna to try to save these parts right here on the side, these mud guards. We're gonna to try to use those, but I don't know. No, we definitely can't use those. So everything has to come off of it. All right, guys, it has been a journey, and I got a mess all over the table. I got to clean up, but guys, I can tell you this. Uh, I like the way this body is turning out. I did have to remove the battery tray, so I'm gonna have to figure out somewhere, some way to mount my battery in this vehicle. Um, but yeah, let's set the body on it. See what it looks like really quick. All right, guys. So I just slid the body on the uh, back railing. Let's see what it looks like, guys. Let's see what the thing looks like. As you can see, I have it sitting on here. I haven't quite locked it down yet. Uh, it appears. That. This wasn't made for this truck. <laughs> uh, it appears this wasn't made for this truck. And I'm going to have to do some adjustments. Definitely gonna have to do some adjustments, but as you can see so far, it looks pretty darn good, guys. Um, pretty darn good, but I do need to do some adjustments. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. As you can see, it looks pretty good, guys. Let me do some adjustments and I'll bring you back. All right, fellas, we are back. And as you can see, the truck is still looking the same. Well, maybe not. As you can see, whoo we check out this gym, guys. This thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the way it turned out. I definitely love 
the way this vehicle turned out. Uh, I am gonna do a few more changes to it very, very soon. As you can see, these little panels right here definitely gonna need to be glued in. They're definitely gonna fall out uh, if I take it out on the trail like it is. But <clears throat> as you can see, it came out quite nicely. Um, this was an awesome conversion. I did lose my battery tray, so I definitely need to work on figuring out what I'm gonna do about the battery tray. So I had to lose my battery tray because it was too wide to actually close. I may just shave it down, shave down the edges and put it back in here. But we'll see guys. That's probably what I'm gonna do, shave down the edges and put it back in here. But guys, it definitely came out nice. Only thing I had to do, I had to do some adjustments. I had to get some pliers, some, uh, some pliers and actually pull these chassis rails apart slightly so I can slide the uh, slide it up further so it closed completely guys because it was closing but it just wasn't locking down but now I got this thing locking down completely definitely not opening up as you can see it's definitely not gonna open up guys I'm definitely excited about the way it came out i definitely think i need to do some well not definitely know i need to i'm going to have to do some wire management i did think i was going to lose my battery tray but i ended up saving it i ended up using basically everything on the vehicle from stock i didn't change anything only thing i did was remove the front bumper the front bumper and the rear bumper and added this right here added this body i do need to stretch it slightly when i'm going past my battery tray but hey, it is what it is. Uh, it closes quite tightly. As you can see, this thing is ready to go, guys. I am gonna change that ESC out. And of course, we need to add some weight. 